What is power? Power is the ability to command obedience, influence over others, control of the financial system, bending things to your will. Black people don't really have that. <laughs> white people, if, if, we're, if we're being honest, white people don't have that too. There's a certain group of white people that have that. A certain tribe of white people that possess that level of power. But of course, we can't say nothing about that here on YouTube. Or they will get my channel taken down. I'm going to be unpersoned in a, matter, in a matter of seconds. You know, like they say, if you want to know who's ruling over you, find out who you're not allowed to criticize. Well, these are the people that basically control the entire globe because when you control the money system you control the world basically that brings us over to this whole r kelly situation right you see when it comes to entertainment and sports and you know crowd pleasing and the group of people that influence modern culture that every other race want to emulate is the black people. They're just, some, they're just something about black people that just attract other race to our way of life. But we don't know how to monetize it. You see? So that's where this group of people come in. They know how to monetize. They control the financial system. So they'll sign you to their record label that they control and everything give you whatever you need money cars this that means nothing to them at all but it's everything to you because we grew up with nothing so a little something makes us happy and we start feeling like we're on top of the world start feeling untouchable start buying into our own hype you see back in the day when r kelly had this situation with this girl and you no know, the whole pp situation and they had a tape, a sex tape of him. It was clearly him. He went away, scot free. You know why? Because they weren't done with him yet. He was at the top of his game. This nigga was a genius, man. Writes songs like crazy. Whatever genre of music you can think of, this nigga can write like a mother. Man, R. Kelly? Oh. He can write rock music, reggae, pop, hip hop, anyone. This dude is all in. He was at the height of his production level. They're not going to let him go. They're not going to let anything touch him. When you are that pinnacle of performance, you're basically untouchable because they're not done with you yet. You still have a lot of juice. They haven't finished sucking it up yet. But unfortunately, you start buying into the hype. You start thinking you are the man. But no, you are the man because the man is standing behind you. That's that's the only reason why you are the quote unquote man. Because eventually they're going to be done with you. And then they're going to cast you aside. You see, Young Thug, YSL and those people. When Young Thug was wearing skirts around, wearing dresses and acting crazy. And looking like Omar from, from The Wire. You know, fuck a nigga up, then go, go, then go and fuck a nigga. Like when it was going crazy in the streets, doing, sh doing, no, shit in the streets. You think they didn't have enough evidence to get him off the streets back then? They weren't done with him yet. You need to know this when it comes to like the FBI and you know uh, law enforcement of, uh, officials. They all have groups. They all have fraternities. And when it comes to someone that's high performing, especially in the entertainment game, they know who to call first before they make the move. Like, yo, man, Mr. Goldstein or Weinstein or Feinstein or whatever, Silverman or whatever. Look, this dude over here, Young Thug, Jeffrey or whatever his name is, is acting up, man. We're about to go get him. Then Mr. Feinstein will be like, nah, 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 not yet, man. Not yet. We're not done with him yet. We need that nigga. That's our nigga right now. And then they'll be like, all right, no problem. Just let us know when, you, when you're when you done with him, all right? No problem, man. We'll let you know. They're done with him now. 
So when they get that same call, Mr. Feinstein will be like, yeah, nigga, go get that nigga, man. We're done with that nigga. We don't need that nigga no more. And then you start seeing all this bag of evidence start coming from nowhere. Be like, yo, they had all this? They had all this for years. Think they didn't have all these tapes and all this stuff our killer's been doing for years? They had all this. They just weren't done with him yet. <laughs> oh, man. Ezra Miller is pretty much doing the same thing our killer's doing. Ezra Miller, the guy from Flash, the one from Justice League, Dumbledore's nephew in the Harry Potter movie, Fantastic Beast movie. He is doing the same thing our killer's doing. This nigga got kids, little girls in his little fu- in, in, in his farm, couple of a uh, couple of hundred acre farm somewhere in the middle of nowhere. So kind of like 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 on a cult ship. Takes all these girls away from their families and they never see them for years. Mind you, some of these girls, their parents brought them over to him, just like they did to R. Kelly. And those parents should be serving time as well. Gillen Maxwell did far worse than R. Kelly. Don't get me wrong, they're all evil on some, you know, demon type shit. But Gillen Maxwell, Jeffrey Epstein, these are like very influential people, man. Gillen Maxwell's father is a top, 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 Israeli official. Like, these are people that sit down with presidents and kings. <laughs> oh, man. Because you make a couple of million doesn't make it, doesn't, doesn't mean you have influence or power. No, the people that can dictate what money is, those are the people with power. Like the scene in Game of Thrones, the little thing was telling Cersei, look, I've got knowledge, I've got information, and like you know, knowledge is power. And Cersei looked at this nigga and like, he commanded her guards to like, get him in a chokehold and put a knife to his throat. Then she looked at him and she said, power is power. These people have real power. So when everyone was talking about, oh, Gillian Maxwell needs to, they need to televise the trial. I was like, come on, man, they're not going to do that. They're talking about where's Jeffrey Epstein's list and all this list of it's got Trump and uh, Michael Bolton and all these people and uh, Bill Clinton and all these top officials, Prince Andrews and all these people going to the Lolita Express and flying to his island, you know, to shag little kids and shit like that. Allegedly. I'm like, they're not going to release that list. Allegedly. They're going to put Johnny Depp and Amber Heard on TV 247. Get you looking at that. Focus on the right hand. Don't worry about what the left hand is doing. Look at all these tricks. Look at all this stuff I'm doing with my right hand. Look over here. You see all that in my right hand? Oh, but my left hand is behind my back. What's that left hand doing? No, forget about that. Look at this right now. Look at this hand right here. Yeah, you see that? You see that? Yay. Focus on this. <laughs> Man. Ezra Miller is going to, his turn is going to come. When they're done with him, they're going to like, you know what? Go and get that nigga. Right now, Warner Brothers and Cole just told the nigga like, go and disappear somewhere. Just cool off for a bit. Let all this news die down. Let all this die down. And then we can bring, we're going to bring you back. But right now, it's, it's hot right now. The block is hot. Go somewhere, cool off. The moral of the story is, don't buy the hype. They're not done with you yet. <laughs>